So after my stay at the Parker Palm Springs Hotel, I couldn't stop thinking about my visions of animals living at the hotel. So a friend of mine actually knew one of the owners. So I flew to New York to try to convince them to let me shoot these animals at the hotel. It's totally nuts, but I had a vision and I was really, really gung-ho to try to make it work. And this project got greenlit and it was all I could think about. So in my mind, this hotel is a fantasy land. I wanted you to be greeted by a monkey in the lobby and penguins by the swimming pool and perhaps flamingos on the lawn. So I found a company that helps rescue animals and they were excited to work with me on this project. So this shoot took place over two days and we mostly shot from like 5.30 in the morning to 11 a.m. before the hotel guests would wake up. And the monkey, oh my gosh, the monkey was hysterical. The first time I shot the monkey was in the lobby. And there's this large famous sign in the lobby at the Parker that says the word drugs. So we got this shot with the monkey sort of welcoming you into the lobby. And then we shot the monkey on the bar and they made martinis and the monkey sort of looking at it with its tongue out. And we started to shoot the monkey around the property. We shot the monkey at the entrance. And then my favorite was we shot the monkey in one of the guest rooms, jumping on the bed. And it was such a riot. This monkey was just bouncing up and down on the bed. And we even got it sort of laying casually in the sheets. Just such a hoot. Oh, and we also got the monkey at the ping pong table and it actually held a paddle. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. The monkey is so clever. After the monkey, we went to the swimming pool and there we actually sort of, we inflated all of these black and white beach balls and we put them in the pool and then the penguins stood on the side and we shot them like they were hotel guests sort of waiting to dive right into the pool. We also shot the flamingos by the pool and flamingos are so beautiful because of their silhouette. And there's just one image of a flamingo just so statuesque standing right by the pool. And right next to the swimming pool is this darling lemonade stand and also a life-size chess board. So we shot the penguins as like chess pieces and the flamingos waiting to get a cocktail, like a lemonade at the lemonade stand. The really magical part was the giraffe and the giraffe's name was Tiny. We first shot Tiny at the entrance of the hotel and we had just the like luggage cart on one side of the door and Tiny on the other and then we inflated all these balloons. We had them coming out of the large orange entrance doors. Sometimes you just know in the moment when you've got a totally incredible image and that giraffe with the balloons and the bright orange doors at the entrance was one of those moments. For our last shot, we went to the family swimming pool and we shot the giraffe with these balloons and I'll never ever forget, I was on the ladder and the giraffe came over unexpectedly and started giving me kisses and I didn't know what to do. It was so cute. And we got this really fabulous shot of the giraffe, the balloons, the swimming pool. So when I finished the shoot, I knew I had to come back and shoot more. This felt like just the beginning of something bigger. And the hotel agreed to allow me to come back. But it was a year later and the first collection of images had come out on my website and people loved them so much. It just fueled my creative spirit to want to shoot more. So I came back to the Parker a year later to shoot a camel, a zebra, a lion, an ostrich, and the monkey again. The real star ended up being the camel. So to make this camel special, I wasn't sure what to do. And I had brought out some Hermes gift boxes and an Hermes blanket from my house. And what do you know? We end up putting the Hermes blanket on the camel with the saddle on top. And then we stacked the gift boxes on top of the saddle and we brought in some cactuses. And suddenly we had this really chic standout camel that quickly became one of the signature images of the entire series. Another really unexpected moment with the camel was we had it walk down the hallway 
And we opened one hotel guest room door so that the light came through right on the camel's face. We have this great shot. It barely clears the ceiling with its tallest hump. Shooting the lion was out of this world. We had set up in the back lawn these carnival flags and the lion came around the corner and walked through the middle of this hedge doorway. And I mean, I was scared, but I had my camera in front of me. So I kind of felt like protected, even though there was a giant, beautiful lion walking right at my lens. And we got a great shot of the lion with this paper crown on its head and the carnival flags. And then we shot the lion at the entrance Watching the lion walk out of the large, famous orange doors of the hotel, it was just iconic. I mean, this is a lion coming out of this hotel. It could not have been more surreal. The staff working at the hotel definitely knew that this project was going on, and I could definitely see people kind of peeking around the bushes, trying to just get a quick iPhone picture, you know, of the zebra or of the camel. I mean, looking back, it's amazing that such a wild idea was really allowing me to connect with people. I mean, as an artist, all of my ideas are fairly wild, but this was a whole other level. And I had the flamingo print hanging in my house and everyone who came over just loved it. There's something about these images that people, no matter who they are, or where they're from, they can connect with. And if they've been to the hotel, then they know how much more special it is. And if they haven't been to the hotel, it's almost like they aspire to go to the hotel and see where these images were taken. Before I went back to do my third and final shoot, I started to think that this would make a great kid's book. And it was as though all of these animals were working and living at this hotel. And I got really ambitious for this third shoot and I thought, Gray, you have got to get an elephant. So obviously the highlight of this third shoot was the elephant. And this wasn't just any elephant. This was actually the elephant that starred in the movie Water for Elephants. So for the first shot, the elephant actually held a cluster of balloons with its trunk. And we placed a luggage cart with bright blue luggage on one side of the entrance door and the elephant on the other. And this ended up becoming the cover of the kid's book. So for our last shot with the elephant, we inflated balloons and tied them along the hedges of a pathway. And I set up my camera. We had the elephant walk towards me. And right before it got to me, it opened its ears and lifted its trunk and put up its foot. And I got this great shot that we called Party at the Parker. It's truly as joyful as it gets. So for my kid's book, I wanted to create a really big party scene. And the idea was that we were gonna have all these cakes and pastries and that the little pig was gonna be the chef. It was such a great moment to end on. You know, This was a three year long project that we had just finished, but it was actually just the start of a whole new project, which was my kid's book. You know, I had no idea when I started this that it was gonna be so well received by adults and kids alike. Meanwhile, back in my personal life in Los Angeles, Jeff and I had spent the last year searching for a house and we had finally found one that we could afford and loved. I didn't realize that this house would open so many doors for my brand. And it really got me thinking about interior design and how I could grow into a much larger person than just a photographer. I hope that by hearing these stories, we are able to connect and that by listening to this whole journey, you are able to understand the value of your art. It's so much more than a photograph.